What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. So if you have not been following along on our journey, we are in Mexico right now. Uh, to be specific, a place called Huaturco, Mexico, which is in Oaxaca. That's the south facing port part of Mexico. And we're going out fishing today. So we'll spend the whole day fishing on this boat here. Uh, we should be able to catch some fish. He's saying maybe black marlin, maybe mahi-mahi and I think I see some fish jumping right in front of me already um, yeah he said we can tro try trolling around we can cast we can try everything so hopefully we get on some fish and afterwards we can take it to a restaurant hope I can cook something maybe they can cook us cook something too all right guys let's get it going We're starting to troll right now. We got six lines out there, all with uh, little lures on there. I think they're just like these, uh, those kind of guys. So I'm gonna just put you up here. Hopefully that gets hit soon. So these fish that we're going after, they like the lures fast because they're fast fish, uh, like marlin and mahi mahi. So we're trolling at about nine miles an hour right now, much faster than what we do back home. Uh, so it's gonna be at this speed the whole entire time, unless we find a school and we might cast into them too. All right guys, a little update. Uh, we've been trolling for about an hour now. Uh, nothing yet, no bites or we haven't seen any fish either, but we did hear of a boat that was on a mahi-mahi and they saw a marlin as well. So that's a good sign. We might have to work for it today, but I think we can still get a few. Let's hope. Hey, hello everyone. Uh, we are we enjoying the beautiful water here in Huatulco, Oaxaca, Mexico. Uh, enjoying uh, the beautiful water with my friends from California. Uh, we are doing some trolling with uh, lures, baits, and try to catch mahi-mahi, selfish, marlin. So we're we're 20, we're uh, like 10 miles away from shore from the pier. So we're in a really really nice area to catch some some pelagic species. Okay, so very soon, hope uh, we catch uh, one of those species very soon. Nice, right? Very soon, very soon. Uh, very soon. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, oh shoot! There we go. There we go. Fish on, baby. Uh, selfish. Selfish? Yeah. Oh shit. Uh, oh. That's us. I got a belt. I put a belt on. Oh yeah. Yes, I am. So this sailfish, as soon as he handed me the rod, oh my gosh, it felt so heavy. Like the heaviest fish I've felt. Like I could barely bring it up. And I was trying to bring it up really down on him, bring it up really down on him, but then he would just keep taking off. Like it wasn't no big problem. And we did, I did end up getting it close to the boat within, you know, 10 minutes or so. But easily, he just, once he got, once I thought he got close enough, he just, swam back out and just pulled out a bunch of line and all over again got a pump and reel pump and reel and it was honestly so tiring <laughs> and by the third or fourth time that i got him close to the boat finally i just got kind of frustrated and i just started cranking on him and just reeling reeling and pumping and reeling and pumping over and over just and i started thumbing the spool too so he couldn't take off again i was just kind of i didn't want him to take off again because i was getting so tired whoa oh my gosh my arms are gonna be done after this i mean i've seen him jump a couple times but I can't tell the size but it's definitely heavy Oh my god! So we finally got into the boat and 
uh, was able to, we were able to land them. Oh my god! Holy crap! Look out, look out! Look out! Oh! Oh! This <laughs> fish popped out. Oh my gosh! Whoa! Sailfish! <laughs> oh Holy god. crap! Wow. And all of the sailfish and marlin and those species that we're going to catch, we're intending on catching and releasing. Unfortunately, um, the sailfish swallowed the hook a little too deep and it was starting to bleed out so we had to um, we had to harvest it and uh, we're going to have it for lunch and Crisanto and his family will be able to you know it'll provide for them as well so um, not too big of a deal but it was a very big sailfish uh, we did want to release those and keep the mahi mahi and um, all of those species like that mahi mahi bonito any of the sierra mackerel that's what we we're intending on keeping um, unfortunately, uh, we had to we had to keep this one. We couldn't try to release it because it was definitely not going to make it in the water. So yeah, instead it'll it'll provide for him and his family. Ooh. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't. Mahi mahi. Mahi mahi for you. Yeah. Oh, I can't. I don't think I can do that again. A little mahi mahi. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes we want to cook an easy meal at home without having to harvest our own ingredients. That's when we use HelloFresh, the sponsor for today's video. With HelloFresh, you get pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. You don't even need to go to the grocery store, which saves a lot of time. Let HelloFresh handle the weekly menu so you can think less about what's for dinner and think more about fishing. Today, we're making the Yucatan Citrus Chicken Bowl. That looks delicious. HelloFresh offers a ton of recipes each week to break out of your recipe rut. You know, me and my recipe ruts. Mmm. Oh, golden. Ooh, they have some more. Ooh, there's more. HelloFresh offers a wide variety of quick and easy meals. Even I can cook them. The packaging HelloFresh uses is already recycled content. Reduce, reuse, recycle. I love these recipes. They're so good, quick and easy. Can't beat it. Count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. Thank you HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Go to HelloFresh.com to get up to 16 free meals plus three surprise gifts when you use code CHEFLIFE16. Thank you HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. After we landed that sailfish, the ocean just got so rough and we were just getting splashed, splashed and we're trolling fast. It's a fast troll this type of fishing and we're going about eight, nine miles an hour. These waves are just splashing us in the, the entire time. So it got a little cold, even though it's warm here, just being in the wind and the waves and just soaking wet, it was getting, starting to get a little cold and then we hooked up again and it was just a small bonito that Johnson reeled in. Um, but soon after that, we, we had decided, hey, let's go to a cove and we'll process this, uh, this big, beautiful sailfish and we will have it for lunch later on. He's got a little fish inside. Cerveza time. Yeah. <laughs> and after that, I got my knife ready. We're gonna fillet that uh, that that sailfish right after. Salute. I'm just 
skin is like kind of rough, like a shark, like sandpaper. -y. Wow. Ah. Where is here? Ah. Wow. See that? Like no scales. I don't think. It's just wow. Very cool. Okay. They let me fillet one half of it and they want to show me how they do it so they did the other half and nothing i can assure you that nothing went to waste uh, we even harvested the stomach the stomach is really big and it's real thick too so and and it is a delicious piece of the fish that's i've never tried it off a sailfish but uh, you'll see in a, in a minute here that we're going to go get it cooked by the restaurant I, i've never had sailfish All right, so now they're gonna show me how they do it. I just kind of fillet it, just just normal. Mm -hmm. It's basically leaving the belly side on. I'm cutting the belly off, basically. cutting the spine and now he's going to break them into chunks. But there's a lot of meat left on that spine. <clears throat> Just going to wash it and then all good. That's all non-edible, gills and just the beak. Toss that one. But the rest we can keep. Still meat on there. Got cheeks on there, got eyes on there you could eat. And some part of the spine still. I'm about it. I'm about that, no waste to life. No fish waste, you know how we do. All right, we got it all chopped up now. Uh, we might do a little snorkeling here and then we'll go back. We're going to go to a restaurant. They're going to take us and uh, we'll cook it up. After all the fishing was done, we got back to the harbor and Cristanto took us to his friend's restaurant and they prepared 
uh, the meal, they prepare the fish for us. We brought the cooler in and uh, the buddy right here is going to make ceviche for us. Oh, and that's the stomach right there. Yeah, cook the stomach. And they did two different ways. They made the ceviche out of the fillets and they made uh, this amazing like fried uh, shellfish stomach you know and it was so good uh it was that was my favorite thing it was so meaty and delicious oh that's the stomach that is the stomach nice oh, that looks nice. good smells good it smells great yeah, it is it is it is like chicharron you know chicharron oh, it's very yeah. similar to that and then the ceviche I know you guys are wondering, oh, maybe I, I should have cooked something, but I just figured, man, I just spent, I was so burnt out uh, after finding that fish, and I'm on vacation. I'm just going to let them do it, let them cook for me, and I'm just going to hang back and chill and just eat. So that's what we did. All right, I'm going to try the stomach. That's, gonna, that's the most exciting part for me, I think. Look at that. It looks so good. Stomach and the ceviche. Mm. Oh, I know we try to make this one a little short one, and hopefully we'll have another a vlog coming here in Mexico. If you haven't been following along on our second channel, Tackling the World, we've been posting a lot more there about the Mexico City adventure we had and all the food that we've been here eating here in Huatuco as well and all the tours that we're going to be doing here so if you haven't checked that channel out go ahead second channel I'll leave it link in, linked in the description uh, anyways thank you guys for watching another episode I uh, appreciate it very much we, we'll be back in the states again soon but for now thanks we'll see you guys next time peace